After a two week break for Christmas and New Year's, the GP4 Offline Championship returns to action this week and as we arrive at Hockenheim for the German Grand Prix, the first team news of this year's silly season has been announced. The first team news is that to the surprise of absolutely no one, current Constructors Championship leaders Mercedes have announced that they will be retaining the partnership of Jay McKenzie and Will Nella for a third successive season. The pair of them are having a fantastic season dominating the Drivers' Championship with Mercedes dominating the Constructors. Will Nella, despite a few nickels, has had an impressive season, taking three wins at Melbourne, Monaco and Spielberg, whereas his teammate has had an even better year, taking five wins at Sakia, Sochi, Barcelona, Montreal and the last race at Budapest, which leaves him two wins away from equaling Florian Volker's record for the most wins of the season and has caused many people to give him the nickname Jay McDominant. There will be a significant change to Jay next season, as for all the English speaking and North American countries next season, which are Melbourne, Montreal, Silverstone, Cota and Mexico, it will be running a Canadian nationality as it has emerged that the poll has a Canadian citizenship, a bit like Robert Ionescu's American citizenship which saw him run the American flag at Cota. The pair will be looking to have another great year in 2017, including Will Nella, as there is a lot of rumours speculating that next year could be his last in the series if he is not in a position to win the championship next year if he doesn't win it this year. The second and final team news we have today concerns another Mercedes powered team, as Force India have announced that they will be retaining the services of Argentine Franco Lopez and Chinese driver Rick Yan. The pair are having another great year in 2016, despite qualifying being a weak point for the pair this season. The team currently lies in 5th in the Constructors' Championship, with the drivers currently being in 7th and 8th respectively in the Drivers' Championship, ahead of defending champion Florian Volker, due to the Germans' frustrating season. The team will be looking to have another great year in 2017, especially given that the team will be changing its colour scheme from grey to a standout pink colour as a result of acquiring a sponsorship deal from water company BWT. The focus now shifts on the remainder of the season for the team, as they are currently in a fight with Williams and Ferrari for third in the Constructors' Championship. In other news, there are rumours going around that 2007 world champion Yui Mata may consider going back into retirement after this season. Yui's number one choice, as we established in the pilot episode, is Red Bull. However, there is gossip going around that if Red Bull decide to offer Yui a contract for 2017, he could turn the offer down if certain criteria, which isn't publicly known, doesn't get met, meaning he would go back into retirement and would give current drivers Miklos Gao and Armak Kara a lifeline. Only time will tell whether Yui will end up doing this if he gets the offer from Red Bull. He is allowed to do this if he wants to, as it was revealed that Robert Ionescu was given a similar ultimatum at the end of last year after he got announced that he would be driving for Williams in 2016. Robert in the end decided to take the Williams drive. And finally, in other news, it was announced via the GP2 2017 sign-ups, which are now closed, that Carlin will remain on the grid in 2017 despite the team not competing in the series in real life. The decision to keep the team on the GP2 grid was in order for the series to still have a maximum of 22 cars on the grid as a result of GP2 needing that number. In terms of the 2017 drivers themselves, they will be announced at the last race of the season in Brazil, just like the last three seasons. And that is it for this week's edition of the GP4 OC News. The next team news will break at the Belgian Grand Prix next week, who will be announced tuning to practice at Spa-Francorchamps.